In geological terms, Canada is the oldest place on Earth. But our time in this world, the time of human beings, has been but a blip on the radar of our planet's history. The evolution of life from the Precambrian Parazoa to the Jurassic's dinosaurs to the Paleolithic humans took place over billions of years. So when we talk about early histories of colonization, we must time travel back to the Hadean Eon, when the Earth was first colonized by life itself. About 4 billion years ago, as the Earth cooled, atmospheres, cloud formations, and large bodies of water emerged in sequence. These were the conditions under which the first life forms developed. Before there was even oxygen, single-celled organisms like protozoa and bacteria began to evolve from Earth's organic compounds. These prokaryotes, or single-celled organisms without a nucleus, were followed by eukaryotes, or organisms with defined nuclei and organelles. Then, about 530 million years ago, during a period called the Cambrian Explosion, a wide array of multicellular organisms began to flourish. During this explosion, the evolution of life accelerated at an unprecedented rate, giving rise to more complex organisms like mollusks, arthropods, and fish. From there, terrestrial life such as land animals, plants, dinosaurs, mammals, and flowers followed suit, most of which died off during one of Earth's several mass extinction events. In fact, Life on Earth has been so biologically diverse that archaeologists estimate more than 99% of species that have ever existed have gone extinct. This brings us to the most recent and sophisticated evolution of life on Earth, that of the genus Homo, or human beings. The earliest species of human, Homo habilis, evolved in Africa during the early Pleistocene epoch, about 2.5 million years ago. From this time until the last Ice Age, there developed several distinct subspecies of human. There were Homo sapiens in Africa, Homo neanderthalensis, or Neanderthals, in Europe, and Homo erectus in Asia. It is thought that many populations of human beings were able to survive glaciation by migrating to sparsely wooded areas where there was an abundance of animal activity. When Earth finally began to warm again, Homo sapiens, the only surviving species of humans today, were able to spread into Europe, Australia, and Asia. It's a common theory that, about 12,000 years ago, these humans were able to migrate from Asia to North America by passing through Beringia via a land bridge. Although the first colonization of planet Earth was by life itself, the wave of early human migration across the Bering Land Bridge is what led to the first true settlement of North America, or as many indigenous groups call it, Turtle Island. Music